Hey family, John Driscoll Hopkins here. And uh, I have some tough news to share. And if you are receiving this video, it is because I love you. And because whether you're willing to admit it or not, you love me. Um, over the past several years, I have been dealing with some hand stiffness. Um, it has affected my playing a little bit um, and some stiffness in my legs, sort of an inability to, to run or jog. And um, more recently, some slurred speech that's not bourbon related. And um, after many analyses by uh, many incredible doctors, I have been diagnosed with ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, which is uh, not good. So um, before you go down the rabbit hole and uh, Google all the things associated with ALS, uh, I should also say that my symptoms have been uh, present from probably late 2019. Um, so that's good news. It means that my progression is really, really slow. ALS is a neurodegenerative uh, disease that affects the motor neurons in the brain and the uh, spinal column. And uh, there is no cure. And Typically, the research points to a three to five year lifespan after diagnosis, considering that I have been symptomatic since two and a half years ago. Um, it stands to reason that I will be a around a lot longer than that. Anyway, I have some notes and I'm going to reference them so that I don't forget any anything. Um, one is the, uh, if you remember the ice bucket challenge in 2014, um, that was a really great, um, awareness builder for, uh, most of the country that didn't even understand what the word, uh, what the acronym ALS was about. And I was one of them and it has really brought ALS to the forefront, um, uh, of, uh, a lot of people's minds and has generated lots of donations for research. Um, but there is a lot left to do and um, it's still relatively unknown. So uh, part of what I'm going to be doing in the coming years is uh, continuing to generate uh, awareness and donations for research and uh, we're going to try to find a cure and we're going to try to to get better treatments and slow the progression um, of ALS uh, until we can reverse it. So um, there's some positivity out there uh, in this strange and confusing um, disease. ALS is difficult to study because every case is different. Um, basically, the common thread is that the nerves are separating from the muscles in the uh, in all of the ALS patients, but the the rate at which those uh, separate is very different for lots of different people, and we have no way of knowing exactly how the disease is caused um, and of course don't know how to fix it. Some of you who received this video may have already heard about my condition and um, we've been keeping it tight-lipped for a while. Uh, Zach Brown Band knows, my family knows, uh, and Jennifer and I have told our children. Um, they are delicate uh, little girls, 13 and 9, and um, they 
don't quite understand all of the ramifications of the condition, but I think they eventually will. Luckily, since my condition is slow progressing, it won't be something that they have to deal with quickly, immediately. It will be a part of their life as, uh, as it continues. Uh, those of you who know them and those of you who see them regularly, um, please, uh, refrain from asking them how I'm doing and from asking them questions about me. Uh, they need to live their lives without, uh, the stress of thinking about um, why daddy's legs aren't working that great. Um, I know that, that you will, uh, respect that, but they are, uh, in the know, but they don't need to be reminded of it and they don't need to talk about it. We have them in counseling programs and, uh, Jen and I are both, uh, involved in some social programs at the hospitals that help us, uh, deal with family issues when it comes to diseases like these. Um, so thank you for that. Jen and I are also reaching out to a lot of other families in the ALS community and have gotten incredible support from them and have learned a lot about how to treat ourselves and how to deal with the uncertainty and the fear really of what is to come with uh, further neurodegeneration, neuromuscular degeneration. And um, <clears throat> we have a great support team and we are very grateful to you for being in that support team. Um, I regret that I can't speak to each one of you personally but trust me, if I had to do this, what I'm doing right now, over and over again for months, it would ruin me. I, I just, I, this is the best way for me to reach out to people that I truly care about and that are near and dear to my heart and tell them about this horrible news uh, without having to, to go through the emotional uh, trauma of dealing with the explanation over and over again. So, um, if you want to call, that's cool. If you want to text or email, that's cool. I may not reply. Um, please forgive me on that. Or I may just reply with an emoji or a thanks or something because, um, I, I, I need to focus on positivity and I need to focus on something else. So, I welcome those emails and those calls and those texts, um, but don't be angry with me if I don't engage to the full extent that one might expect. Um, it's just tough for me to keep going through this. So I know this is a lot to digest and it's a long video, but thank you for listening to, uh, to it in, in its entirety. Thank you for your prayers and your support. And, uh, we're going to get out there and give it hell and, um, we'll see you around. I believe.